Don't touch it. Everybody wants a light helmet, and that sounds cool, but really it's just simple physics. Isaac Newton in the late 1600s laid out a simple equation that would change physics forever. Force equals mass times acceleration. Here on Earth, acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. We discovered very quickly in the lab that no matter how hard we tried, we were not going to change gravity which left us with one other variable that we could change that would consistently reduce the force upon impact. And that variable was mass. One of the biggest innovations that we came up with was the first one was composite fusion. Your typical helmet has a hard outer shell that is made separate from the inner foam liner. This separation creates air bubbles and results in higher g-forces upon impact. Composite fusion disperses energy upon impact more efficiently by molding the inner EPS foam to the outer shell. Really by fusing the liner it allows us to thin the shell down because now you've got the foam backing it up. Once you do that you can actually use an even lower density foam which is way better for you. Putting softer stuff next to your head is what you want. Now we're dissipating that energy much more efficiently. Now we'd have, you know, different shapes. We've got triangle shapes. We actually have cones versus cones. So now not only from the outside to the inside, but from the inside out. You, your head actually goes up into your helmet as well as the impact from the outside. So we want to dissipate it any way we possibly can. Get rid of that energy, send it away from your head. So our goal is to not just uh, make stuff and, and pat ourselves on the back for coming up with some new cool innovation, but to actually get it into as many products as we possibly can. Um, those are the things that, that excite us and, and we're never going to stop doing that.